and welcome back to my channel. Just before I get started with the main part of the video, I do have to apologise for any drilling or hammering that you're hearing. Next door are doing continuous work to their place, which feels like it's gone on forever, um, and they are drilling and hammering constantly. So I'm trying to film in between the noise, but if I do continue filming through it, I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't affect the video too much. But getting into the video, today I am doing a misguided haul. Now, most of you who have probably watched me will know that misguided isn't really my kind of brand mainly because whenever i go on the clothing is either a corset um fitted clothing out there patterns and bodycon just my my kind of opposite to my style if that makes sense but i wanted to give it a go the one thing i did notice The one thing I did notice is that it is on the more expensive side of kind of the brands that are kind of within the same realm or like you'd think of at the same time. Um, but I don't know much about the quality, so I will try and review that for you on all the pieces that I have. So the pricing might well very be much worth it. In the haul, I have a massive selection. I'm actually really excited for this one because there are so many different things that I probably would not pick. And as I go through the video, you'll see what I mean. But I am excited as I pull them out they all look good the sizing looks fine i do have to mention again with misguided i follow what i do with boohoo and i've gone up a size to a size 24 because again i just don't know what the size is gonna be like and i don't want to risk 22s with them like sticking to me i look like like i'm trying to fit into a size six anything like that but yeah i've got a variety of different things from jackets another swimsuit a couple of co-ords um and like i said some bits that i wouldn't normally go for so i hope you stick around please like and subscribe if you can it means the world and let's just get straight into the video so the first item i have gone for is this now this is like a cream cropped denim jacket with a frayed edge i actually got this in a size 22 not sure why when i got everything else in a size 24 so this could go terribly wrong um but yes this is their plus sunflower printed cropped jacket cream and i I paid now I got this in a size 22 paid 32 pounds however there was a 30% discount on the website so do the maths it was cheaper than 32 pounds but I really like this the denim feels quite soft the size looks good is it stretchy no but I'm gonna put this on just with a plain dress and see what it looks like okay I'm really surprised with this one um so like I said this is a size 22 and it is huge like it's really big you probably could have gone well i could have probably gone for an 18 maybe um around the back like i said it's massive there's no problems with my arms fitting in my back anything like that and um my actual arms rather than the the top of my arms it is really big and quite baggy so i have rolled this one up by one i just pulled it up because anyone who knows me knows that i don't like a full length sleeve and i always roll it up but i thought i'd just show you both styles cropped wise it fits right in the place where i want it to and stops at my tiniest bit but again because this is quite a big size on me it is kind of drowning me a little bit if i unroll you'll see both just with a plain black dress i won't want a pattern underneath this i think it'd be a bit too much and i want this to be the statement piece it has two pockets on the front they are real pockets so that's always good and then from the back it looks like this so again plenty of room and i really like this so overall quality feels really nice the denim's soft so it's not scratchy and it is quite a thin denim which i quite like i don't want it to be too heavy style i love this and i do love sunflowers i just wish i got it in a smaller size i think it looked really nice in a smaller size and price wise so i paid 32 with a 30 percent discount which is nine pound 60 i think which would take me to say 23 pounds um i think that's that's fine the one thing i'll say about this is i don't know how much wear i get out of it um with it being such like a statement pattern one it probably limit what i can wear under it and two it's one of those items that you kind of if you wear too much well i don't know, you can wear it all the time but for me the statement pieces i wear kind of few and far between otherwise people get sick of me just walking around looking like a sunflower but yeah overall i really like this jacket so the next piece, or should I say pieces, that I'm going to try on is this cohort. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have already seen the debacle um, of how frustrated I am. So this is a khaki set, um, t-shirt top, and then like a flared 
bottom trousers, which I thought was really cute, nice little loungewear. However, the tag on the back of the trouser and the tag on the back of the top are connected. So when I tried to try them on together, I either had the top on and this was pulling down the back and the weight was trying to strangle me, or I had the bottoms on and the weight of the top were pulling the trousers down. So I was trying to figure out a way to try this on in the haul. The, the tag does say that I'm one half of a twin pack. So if you want to wanna return me, damn the kids, uh, please send me with my other half with the label still attached. So there was no way for me to try this on as a two piece. I have contacted Misguided and I have in writing that they're going to allow me to take the tag off to try it on. Um, so hopefully if they come back at me and say the tag's not attached, I can send them that. But I will try this on now for you after rambling on about the, the situation. Okay, so I got this in a size 24 and it was £25 for the set plus your 30% off. So £17.50. Um, it's just a bit, eh, isn't it? One, I feel a bit like a prisoner um, in like a all over one piece, but it's just not doing much, is it? I mean, the length of the trousers are okay. They are dragging a little bit on the floor and for reference, I'm five foot six, um, but it's, it's not doing anything, is it? I mean, and I'm not someone who would like tie it at the side because I just don't like that look on me. So it's just a bit flat. The material though is lovely. Um, it's really soft. It's potentially slightly see-through. Um, and for £17.50, I mean, if it's your style, then it's fair enough, you know, but for me, it's just not that great. And if I turn around, you can see there's plenty of room in it. It is really long. So a size 24, you know, could I go down to a size 22? Yeah, and the trousers, the trousers are quite comfortable. They are high waisted, so they're coming up to here. Um, but it's just not my style, but yeah, style's not mine. The quality seems absolutely fine and the price would be, would be fine if I wanted to keep them. Okay, so the next item is this Dalmatian smock print dress and I love this. I don't often go for a shirt kind of neckline, shirt style collared neckline. But I thought this was really cute and I'm very much into Dalmatian print at the minute if you haven't noticed with my midi dress that I wear all the time. Now this is size 24 and it is 28 pounds. 28 I think is a little bit steep for the fact that it's just kind of like a casual day dress. However, with a discount it takes it down to about 22 pounds. So that's not too bad. Um, it does feel like a really lovely material, quite silky and it looks really nice and there's no kind of problems I can see with the actual make of the dress or the quality. Good old misguided, they've got one of those tags on that means that you definitely can't wear it out. They must have been stung a lot in the past. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cute. I think it's gonna be a little bit see-through, so I do apologize for anything that you might see in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw this one on and see what it looks like. So the dress is on. Um, I don't know how I feel. So like I said, I got this in a size 24 and there's not that much room, but it feels really big on me, if that makes sense. So I don't know whether the waistline is nearly the right size but this bit is plenty big enough to the point where I should go down a size but I do feel quite sacky in this. I love the print though like I've always said the fabric's really nice and I'm sorry if you can see my underwear I hope not oh I think you can it's fine we've been through this I need to invest in some nude underwear but the dress quality seems really nice the price with 30% discount fair enough style though on me I just don't think it's doing much Plus, I probably want to wear tights with this if it was in the winter, and I think it's a bit too long for tights. Um, I like it to be a bit higher, if that makes sense. But then in the summer, it would be it's quite a nice length. I'm not going to flash anyone or any sort of thing like that. The colour is very much like a champagne -y rather than like a cream, I'd say, more like a champagne than a whitey cream. So it is nice, and I like the fact that it's not white because I get white so dirty. Plus, I can never white, uh, wash white clothes probably because I put them in with the darks, but we'll just ignore that bit. But yeah, overall, the dress is nice, but I just, I don't think it's really kind of for me. I keep laughing about this next one. Um, again, it's a Rach Vision, which we know 99% of the time does not go well. Um, and this is probably the outfit that I would not wear ever in a million years, ever. Um, so <laughs> we'll go through it, shall we? I have this corseted blue watercolored strapless zipped up top i am slightly concerned about how i'm going to get this on my own because i have very small arms which means i can't zip myself up and there are little sticky bits in this because it is strapless and a corset so if i try and put it over my head 
I, I don't know how it's going to work. Um, so that will be fun. And then I decided to pair, the, pair it, you know, try the cool and trendy with these joggers. Now, these are a wide leg, creamy white jogger. So really, I've not paired too well because this is white and this is cream, but we'll just look past that. So they are a wide leg jogger, high waisted, with misguided on it and some writing. My only concern, they're dragging on the floor. This is up to my boots. I, maybe it's one of those miracle outfits that when you put it on, it fits. So yeah, I thought this together would look really cool. Um, we'll, we'll just, we'll just try it on and hope for the best. So they're on. Um, so the top is, they're both a size 24. The top was 20 pounds and the bottoms were 30 pounds. And these are called a straight leg jogger, just double checked. The top is incredibly tight. It's on, as you can tell, but I won't be able to keep this on for very long. Although I do feel very supported, which is great. Um, the joggers, they're a good size. Probably wouldn't want to size down, but um, I mean, it kind of ruins it. I mean, I'm not saying it was a great outfit to start with, but there's a lot of leg left. But yeah, overall, I mean, I love this corset. I think the corset's really pretty. I would probably have to get this with like a high-waisted white skirt or a blue skirt for holiday. I think it's really cute. The joggers, that they're, they're okay. But if anyone knows me, I don't like having high-waisted things that kind of make my belly look like it looks in real life. I try and hide the fact that I have a stomach, not that it's not that you can hide it but you know what I mean just gloss over that fact but yeah I think I'm trying to go trendier if I walked out onto the street with the trousers the right length I probably wouldn't look too bad you know I wouldn't be like cringing too much um but yeah it's not it's not perfect I thought I was being really trendy but overall the top the fit on the small side so definitely size up twice um and I don't have big boobs but it is firm so that's all I'm gonna say about this one. Um, quality seems nice, and the price for twenty pounds or fourteen pounds with a discount, bargain. Trousers, too long. The material's really nice. You know, the fit up here is fine. Um, but the length is way out. I think you'd have to be an extra five inches on me so I'm five six you need to be nearly six foot for these to not drag on the ground but that could be a fashion trend I don't know but overall I like the idea of what I was going for and I feel very proud of myself for going out of the comfort zone but it's just it's just not really working is it the next item is very much a me item so I'm going back to my comfort zone this is like a sheer waisted sage green I think it's more like a sprinkle dress or something with a lovely square neckline which I'm starting to love at the minute and it has a really cute floaty sleeve. The size I got in this was a size 22 so again I don't know why I sized down for this one but it's really cute it looks like a nice length. Um, price for this was £30 so the discount £24. It looks really nice again I prefer it to the, the Dalmatian one just because of my style but I'll get it on and see what the quality is like. I love this dress I think it's so pretty. It's the right length for me. The one thing I kind of wish I went up a size because it is a little bit tight around this place. Around the chest seems absolutely fine. The arms are absolutely fine, but this just feels a little bit tight. Like when I sit down, I think it will maybe pull. So I wish I had gone up to a size 24. I think you're actually meant to wear the sleeves slightly off the shoulder if I follow the model. But I think it's really cute. And for the price, 24 pounds, is on the more expensive side, but I think I'd get quite a lot of wear out of this. Don't know if you could wear it with tights though. Let me know what you think. Um, but definitely as a summer dress, I think it's really cute. So from the front and then from the back, you can see it's a little bit tight on my bum, but there is plenty of room on my back and there's no pulling or anything like that. Quality is really nice. I absolutely love the style. Like I've said a million times, I love the square neckline even though you can see our bra straps. It's not great for that, to be fair. Um, and then the price, I think it's really nice. I think it's a lovely dress. It feels comfortable. I feel confident in it, but I just wish I'd sized up just to get that little bit of extra flair around my belly. So the next two pieces that I've got is another vision of mine, 
you all know how well they go. Um, this is the swimsuit and it is another square neckline which I love and is in a size 24 and this was I think £24 or £25, I could just check. Um, this was £24 with 30% discount and then this is the Broder Anglais top which I thought would look really cute over the top of it because I'm trying to find that perfect swimsuit and cover up. Um, but this was £35 which I thought was quite expensive. Now when I bought this I did think that this tie came undone and you could probably like tighten it um, but that's not the case. It's all one piece kind of all connected and then the tie is just around the waist so it's not going to impact the neckline. Both are in a size 24 so looking at them now I don't think they're going to go together but I'm going to put them together anyway and just just see my vision come to life. I am so conflicted. So the top like I said, size 24, there is plenty of room in this. Definitely size down if you want. I quite like it being quite big. Um, one thing I'd say, and that people always complain about, is that I would like it longer. So as you can see there, it's it pulls up at the front. But with a swimsuit, it's not a big deal. I don't really care about my tummy when I've got my swimsuit on, so it's not too bad. But I don't think it goes with the swimsuit. Like, it's not a cover-up for the beach. I made it into a cover-up. So I love this actually as a top. It is quite low cut, obviously, very low cut. With the swimsuit underneath, I think it looks really cute. So you could have like a tank top under this or just something to give it a bit of oomph. Um, so I think this is really cute. And if I turn around, you can see it's longer at the back. There's plenty of room. So overall, I think the top's really cute. The price, £35 with your discounts, just over £10, £25. I don't think it's a bargain, but I don't think it's terrible. And if it's something that you're going to get a lot of wear out and could be like a... A staple item of your wardrobe then that's absolutely fine um, I think it's really cute I just wish it wasn't as like that if that makes sense um, I don't think it does my stomach any justice but I think it's a really cute top nonetheless on to the swimsuit it doesn't fit well um, so the body is far too short for my body even though my body isn't that thing uh, that long so as you can tell I'm trying to hike it up here to cover the bra it's flattening me completely and if I pull it up it pulls this bit up um which I don't want and obviously I've got my underwear underneath so you can see it poking out it's just too high leg for me it's not meant to be a high leg but I think because there's not much room here when you're pulling it up obviously everything moves with it I do love a square neckline but it's just making me seem really unproportionate it's squashing me so much here so like I feel like it's just made me flat as a pancake um so overall not for me I much prefer the swimsuit that I tried on from Boohoo the leopard print one but if you did watch that video I did size down on that one and it was still not a great fit on the top so I I didn't buy that um but yeah overall not that impressed 24 pounds the quality is fine, but the fit is way off for what I need. It's too low down here, although it's baggy there. Um, and then from the back, you can see it's too low and it's it's nothing special. It's hugging everything. So for me, the swimsuit's a no-go, but love the idea of the white top. This just has not been executed well at all. The second to last item I'm going to show you is this beautiful leopard print strappy maxi dress, mini dress, not maxi dress. This was £26 and I got this in a size 22. So with your discount, you're looking at 20 quid. Um, my maths is still not working well today, but I think this is really cute. The one thing I'll say is it has buttons all the way down. So if it is too small, it's going to be gaping at the front and also the buttons are a nightmare so when it turned up it was unbuttoned so you have to button it yourself it's like a wedding dress button with the hoops are so small and you're trying to get my fat hands around the buttons to do them up so that's a bit of a nightmare but hopefully once the buttons are done up it's fine so I'm just gonna throw this one on get rid of this and hopefully this fits dress is on and I absolutely love it I just have one issue with it and it is the fit there is a lot of stretch, not in the material, but in like the waistline. Um, so I have room, but the buttons are pulling. And because that the button closings are elastic, it's pulling the fabric. I don't know whether you can tell from the camera, because luckily there is like a backing to where the buttons are, so that if it does pull, you're not going to notice. But up front, you can see it. So I can't, yeah, you're able to see it there. So it's just pulling too much. And like I said, I don't have big boobs. So it's like, oh. It's annoying. And there is room in the dress, but it's just pulling too much. So if the closings 
weren't elastic and they were just solid it probably would work a lot better but i love this dress it's a great length it's comfortable the fabric's really nice it has adjustable straps which we all know i love and then from the back you can see fits fine there's plenty of room in the back i love this dress but i just wish it fit that little bit better i don't know whether to buy it in a size up so i get this in 22 yes buy it in a size 24 or sew this down because it will fit if i just sew it down i probably will sew it down just for ease so that it doesn't pull um, because like i said there's plenty of room in the dress it's just the elastic but overall style i absolutely love i do love a leopard print i love a midi dress the quality feels really nice the fabric's lovely and the price for 26 pounds yeah with the discount so 20 quid for this is great and i love midi dresses at the minute i love wearing them with trainers or you could dress it up a little bit with heels or another thing my final item seems to work quite well with it so this is a trench coat style thing i'll try and find the thing uh, it's called a tan covered buckle belted formal coat now i got this in a size 24 and this was 31 pounds 50 which i don't think is bad at all for a proper quality coat and this is feels really thick it is incredibly heavy it has a waterfall neckline so i was really excited about this and i thought together in winter you could put this together and have some black boots on if i move back you could do a black boot either an ankle boot or you could go knee high if you want but i thought this was really cute so hopefully this fits again i got this in a size 24. oh that's nice okay i think it's a bit big now the test is always with these they always seem to fit me like this then when i try and do them up with the belt it's like <laughs> so oh it does up okay now i'm not going to use the actual tie i'm just going to do this i mean i've covered the entire dress but this is quite cute it's very <gasps> pockets it's very oh i like this coat do you like this coat i mean it's so warm today but do you like this let me know what you think this is really nice it's not got any pull around the top at all it's plenty big enough it has a nice lining and then if i wanted could i i mean that doesn't look great but you know what i mean so you could have the the dress on oh, i love this i think this is great oh i didn't think i was gonna like this coat oh i'm loving it so in winter when you see me strutting my stuff in my leather print dress my coat and some black booties you'll know where it came from so yeah 26 pounds for the dress great definitely gonna keep it and sew it i've decided and the coat for 31 pounds 50 minus your discount it's the same price as any of the other stuff and this feels great the length of the arms are perfect the quality seems really nice oh i'm chuffed to bits with this um i don't know if this is tied right i can't really see but yeah definitely the winner of the entire haul okay so that is the end of the haul now i'm kind of up close these waterfall fronts are feeling very big very statementy i'll try and figure out how to deal with them um but yeah overall what are my thoughts on misguided a lot better than i expected i thought it was going to be poor quality overpriced poor fit all that sort of stuff i do have to size up as we've noticed um so what items do I actually like? I love the sunflower jacket. This is a size 22, so I had to size down. There wasn't actually much that I had to size up on. I'm somewhere between a 22 and a 24. In some items, denim, this denim jacket, I could have gone down to an 18, 20. The dress, I could have sized down, potentially depending on the waist. I had to go up a size. The joggers were probably the right size, just too long. And the green dress was probably an okay fit but i just didn't feel comfortable overall and then these two size 22 and 24 could definitely size down in the jacket i think but i like the extra room especially in winter if you're gonna have if you're gonna have um jumpers on underneath so i definitely think i'm gonna keep these two i love these and I would love to keep 
the jacket. I just don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of it. And I'm really trying to only keep items that I think are great and that I'll get a lot of wear out of. So I'll just have to have an internal dilemma and discussion with myself to do that. I'm going to have to take the coat off soon because it is far too hot. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what brands you want me to try next, all that sort of stuff. Please do comment. It's lovely to hear from you all. Please also like the video if you can. That really helps. And also just watching and interacting with me is a huge help for me. Not just for the fact that it grows my channel, but it's lovely to hear from you all and I really really appreciate the time that you take to talk to me. You can also follow me on my Instagram which is just Rach with three H's and I post over there sporadically but I, I'm trying to get better uh, but it'd be lovely if you could follow me over there too. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you're staying safe and you've had a lovely week and I will chat to you soon.